Hello, my name is Jessica Frost and I am going to talk to you today about internet-based research in education. My analysis of the use of ICT in the classroom focuses, focuses on the introduction and reliance, value and authenticity of using the internet for research-based learning in, the school, in school work. Mainly, I wanted to know how effectively it is used and how educators can ensure it engages students authentically and meaningfully. A research study undertaken by Pew International Internet and American Life Project directed at teens and parents showed that of the teenagers accessing the internet, 95% are using it for school-based research, 71% have used it as a major research resource for their most recent school project, and up to 58% have used a website established by a school or a class for the specific learning topic. A further 34% of these students download a specific study aid, purchase an online assistant or use a app or study program specifically to help them with their research and learning on the internet. Overall 17% of students using the internet for education have created a web page for a school project. As well as this in America, between 15 to 30 percent of telecommunication companies provide a discount to schools if they sign up for internet usage with their providers en masse. So this has related. Re this has resulted in a 77 percent of instructional classrooms using the internet to connect with learning in the United States of America. Students are different now. They are born with technology in their society. They are used to iPads, smartphones and keyboards, digital cameras from their parents. TVs are smart TVs Subscription television such as Foxtel, Stan and Netflix are typical things, typical entertainments and what you can't access simply you can download online. The primary means of people connecting these days and socialising is actually online through things such as Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Snapchat, WhatsApp, YouTube, Twitter and I am sure I am missing at least half a dozen of those. But the point is that people are more likely to engage socially online than they are in person. When we come across information, we most likely come across it through one of these out outlets and we expect the communication to be quicker. We expect responses quicker. If we don't know what something means, we also expect the information to come to us quicker. quicker and to be explained in a number of ways so that we can understand it. If it isn't interesting to us, we won't pay attention. In the internet has been in successfully integrated fully into our lives and thus the classroom. The purpose of instruction in education has now not become knowledge transferal but it's become safe use of the internet and also to establish safe communication without the internet. So helping people to build resilience and safe practices for socialising and building social skills that don't rely on the internet. So teachers and educators now are more responsible and are in need more of making sure that students know how to research information and know how to communicate the information that they find better. Students like to con to come across information themselves. They like to find out for things for themselves. They don't like things to be hand fed to them. 
what they want is internet-based research. They don't want to browse through a whole lot of meaningless information until they find the one good thing. They want a lot of information to suit their needs and then they want to find the most relevant one to support it. The problem with this is that a lot of those resources are tertiary resources which means they aren't always supported by authentic research. They're most often written with bias and opinion. So effective education not only means making sure the information is available, it means that educators need to be trained in how to in how to bring about the correct information and the correct research techniques. For authentic and internet-based learning, educators must make sure that the environment that students are learning in is adapted to support discussions, support group activities, support social skills and support experimenting by mixing technology. Students need to know that the internet isn't the only place to research and that sometimes using the internet and a physical source can be more valuable to them. They need to know how the information that they find holds value in real life. They need to know that the best practice for online research and ensure the optimum local online sources are available. Teachers need to know how to research, they need to be trained in the correct research processes so that they can pass this on to their students. Teachers need to make sure that students aren't overwhelmed with incorrect information from unreliable sources. Teachers need to know all the ways that these things currently changed and the local online sources that are best available for their students so that the students can safely practice reliable, effective online research. If education is to proceed as it is with internet-based research, the basis for effective research must first be established for the students. Thank you.